This is our John Deere 4030 sprayer. For you of those who subscribe to me on a regular basis, this is new to us this year, and you probably caught it in the last video I did. This particular sprayer is a 2016. The R4030 is the smallest of the series, but it has the same frame as the 4038 and the 4044. The 4044 would be the biggest at 1,200 gallon tanks, 4038 at 1,000, and the 4030 is a 800 gallon tank, uh, which directly replaces the 4730. The R4030 is a 414, where its two bigger brothers would be 8.1 liter engines. Because of the topography of the land in our area, as well as weight and just visibility factors, we chose the R4030. We wanted to keep the machine similar in weight to a, to a uh, 4730, a little bit lighter, which will reduce uh, hillside like drift against tire sidewalls. Uh, just our land's topography is pretty pretty harsh, so a little bit lighter machine actually works better for us, and an 800 gallon tank is plenty sufficient. This particular machine has 90 foot booms, which this section right here would be the difference between the 90 and the 100. The 100 is a longer section there, and the 90 is a shorter section. The 90 has a 7 section shutoff system, and the 100 foot has a 9 section shutoff. The 100 foot booms, again for our topography, we chose the 90s. But theoretically, a 90 foot machine could be changed over to a 100 foot machine. But you would have to replumb it to do it correctly. Uh, this machine is what the original machines were, which had the Command View 2 cab. And it just has a standard wet boom. Each one's got a little diaphragm on it, and it's got a nozzle body you can turn for uh, five different nozzles. Uh, and this particular machine has 15 inch nozzle spacings, which 20s are optional. Right after this machine came out, they came out with the Command View 3 cabs, which was the same machine, just had an updated cab. And when they came out with the Command View 3 cabs, they went to the exact uh, spray, uh, which has the boom that has the wires down it, and it'll have a nozzle that's on a rotating um, electrical turret that you can change on the go. This particular machine has Firestone tires on it. They're the 82 Technology 380-9046s. And the uh, tread pattern is what they call an RC. This tire holds about 65 pounds of air, and they're just about like a brick. For doing pre-emerge applications, we should have the flotation tires on here, but that does take quite a bit of work to put them on, and we just don't happen to have a set. These do leave a bit more of a track, but when you go to uh, post-emerge, you'll have to have the narrower tread. The 380s are going to be narrow enough to track 15-inch soybeans, and that's why they spe specifically designed this high-ply tire was to carry the weight, carry it well, but also track a narrow width. They do sell a uh, 420 wide tire, but the 420 wide tire will not track a 15-inch soybean row. Fenders, they're a factory option. And this particular machine does have the belly shield option. Some other options that this particular machine has is the three inch fill system. This has got the liquid command system on here, which has a touch screen, auto fill, and a display here, which you could do everything from toggle the engine up and down in RPMs to check your nozzles or self fill the machine from right here on the side. That is a fairly expensive option from the factory, otherwise you'd have a whole bunch of valves down the side. The reason I did not want the standard valve option was on the standard valve package you cannot clean your boom out from in the cab. You have to come out here and change the valves. It does have the optional chemical eductor system and the optional xenon light package. And up above, again, is an 800 gallon tank and the optional stainless steel version. Standard is a yellow poly tank. On the two bigger machines, all you can get is a stainless steel tank. This particular machine has a foamer option. This is sold as a kit, so it can be added to any of them. And the last option that this particular machine has is the 3-inch front fill system. This is a factory option that I would not have ordered, but it just happened to be on this particular machine when we bought it. This uh, is a front fill system, just tees into the line in the back. And they have this air valve here, which actually charges it up to blow the rest of the hose uh, free of water so it, otherwise your hose it can just it can sag from the sheer weight and volume that's in the hose so they like to get that charged up and blown out and cleaned out 
Now, as you'll see, the machine's pretty dirty. We've been using it extensively throughout the spring. Uh, the machine is dirty, but underneath this film of field dust and dirt is a very clean, beautiful, well-kept machine. This was owned by a farmer up in uh, Minnesota. We picked this machine up this spring after a long search of looking at multiple machines, including driving all the way to Kentucky to find one that was not represented to what it looked like in the pictures. You can just tell from the hardware and everything that this machine has had really good care and we intend to keep it that way. When John Deere went to the newer series machines, they changed the entire base platform machine. They tried, just changed the boom system. They changed the wheel systems. Just basically a ground up different version of machine. Uh, any of these machines with the green booms, they have a series of rollers up there. So it's kind of like a smiley face and the machine the boom sits in a track and goes like this, instead of having the bearing where the booms just pivot from a center point. Uh, the black boom machines, which would be like your 4720s, and then your 30 series, your 4730s, 4830s, those machines were more problematic than when they went to the green boom machines. Uh, something that's factory on this machine, that's a very nice feature, are these sensors. It's a five boom track system, uh, automatic uh, boom height control, very fast response, works great. When we began looking at these, we were thinking about 4730, but after learning about all the advantages to the newer R-series machines, we could clearly see that that's the way to go. So we went with the R-series machine. Then, like I said, we began to search for these, only to conclude that certain options were must-haves for our operations, such as the 15-inch nozzle spacings and the stainless steel tanks and the uh, liquid system that's controlled electronically. Those are things that I really, really wanted to have on machines. So when you narrow down your options search, as well as look for a clean machine, the uh, choices of things that are on the market for sale was quite limited. Up here in the front of the platform, you have a uh, batteries and you come into the cab, which this is a uh, John Deere tractor cab is what they use on these. And this is a uh, 8R series tractor cab with basically a combine hydro handle and a, a console, it's kind of a combine console combined with a tractor console, uh, basically it's a sprayer only thing, but uh, they use multiple components from other machines that they make. This particular machine has another option we wanted, which was the premium cab option, which includes a leather seat, the air conditioning controls down here, otherwise they would be up here, and several other features. So it's a very, very nice clean cab, very quiet inside, and excellent visibility. Other neat features of this machine would be a foot pedal switch down here on the floor that you can tap once, touch one button, and the booms will go into an automatic folding feature, as well as hydraulic wheel treads adjustments that are changeable on the go, and you can preset your width so it'll go out to a certain stopping point, as well as a ladder that goes up and down. This machine has traction control, these are camera settings, fence row nozzles, these are optional. This button here is the ladder. If you drive off, the ladder automatically comes up after a couple of feet. And when you get out of the cab, as soon as you get out of the seat and open the doors, the ladder automatically comes down. This machine utilizes a 2630 display. When you went to the Command View 3 cabs, they changed a lot of the cab controls as well as some of the options for outside. And they went to the 4640 display. You cannot put the new control here, they went to the uh, fly-by-wire on the new ones, and the 4640s obviously in the new ones. That's things you cannot change. There are some road track feelers, automatically row sense, and a few other things such as the exacto spray where it changes the nozzles on the go. That can actually all be added to this earlier version machine. And no, this machine is not new. Uh, it has 1571 hours on it. Great access to the tank, great visibility around the tank, and a very well-made boom structure. Overall, we're very happy with it, and if you're a regular subscriber or like what you see on this channel, you'll be seeing more of this machine in the future and upcoming videos. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.